and she's sitting there looking out the window. She's sitting right beside him. She's looking out the window going like this. And now, in any language, folks, that's a universal symptom, symbol for headache, right? And I said, ma'am, would you, I, I've got something that will cure your headache. And she said, no, it'll go away on its own. I reached in my pocket and I held out one of these. I said, no, I'm, I'm, I really do. I have something that will cure your headache. It's a red foam clown nose. And I, she said, are you kidding? I said, yes, I am kidding. <laughs> That's the entire point of it. And I said, if you put this on, it'll take your headache away. And she, said, she said to me, I can't put this on. I have to be responsible. I said, sure you can. I'll hold up a book. So I held up a book like this. And she stuck the nose on. And she sat there for about 15, 20 seconds. And then she said, it's gone. It's gone. And sure enough, the headache was gone because the silliness of the nose was enough to create enough endorphins to flush out the cortisol that was making your headache. There's some things you can do with condos. One of them is really fun when you're in, when, when you're in rush hour traffic. <laughs> Someone's trying to cut you off, put on a nose, beep the horn, wave, and they will let you in front of them every time. Every time. And then I got that five words that no one in a hurry wants to hear. Is this your bag, sir? <laughs> uh, I've never seen that bag in my life. I had no idea. And so, of course, it was. And she says, can I have your boarding pass, please? I give her my boarding pass. She puts on these rubber gloves, and she's checking, the, checking my bag, like meticulously checking this bag, right? And I'm going ballistic on the inside. Because if you show it, what did they do? Yeah. They slow down. So on the, on the outside, I'm going like this. On the inside, I'm going, would you hurry up? We're going to be like, on the outside. And don't I get the full meal deal? The full meal deal at the security checkpoint is the sniff test. I'm not, I'm not sure what the technical term for it is, a sniff test. So she changes her gloves, and it was like she was going to a wedding, she wanted to get the right gloves on. Changes her gloves, puts the sniffy thing down, makes, you know, takes a little swab, puts the thing in the machine, steps back, waiting for the results. I am berserk. This person is my difficult person of the day. She's driving me nuts. She's under my skin. She's going to be the cause of all my misery for the next five hours while I'm trying to get an, uh, another flight back to Halifax. My difficult person. She is not a person to me. She's become a thing, an object, an obstacle, a barrier to my progress. At the corner of my eye, on her vest, I saw a little pink pin, a little pink ribbon pin. I thought to myself, I wonder if she has it. I wonder if someone she knows has it. I wonder if her daughter or sister or mother has been experiencing breast cancer. Then I thought to myself, my gosh, I just was talking to my friend Karen who was just diagnosed recently with it and she's going through quite a struggle with that because it's a very serious disease. And in, in this time it took me to identify that, the wall of mistrust and nastiness and the difficult person just dissolved. And I actually saw her as a, as a per person doing a good job. It just dissolved. I saw her as a person again, a person that we shared something in common with. Person as a person. And when she passed, passed me back my board and pass, I looked in the eye and I said, Ma'am, I want to thank you. I was sincere about this. I actually felt gratitude for her because I, I had a little connection with her. So, said, Ma'am, I want to thank you for how you so carefully checked our bags so we could fly safely in the skies today. She took a little step back and says, Oi, we don't get many people saying that. <laughs> My second thing got so bad, I actually wrote a country song. <laughs> do you want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I got stinking thinking on the road to Pity City. That's all I got. 